Um, okay, so welcome. Today we're going to talk about how to get in the professional film industry. I've been in the film industry for now 25 years. Um, when I started, I had no idea the life that it could give me. Um, it's not intuitive how you grow a business. This is not just about how getting production assistant jobs. That's a great way to start. But to grow a career where everybody knows you for what you want to do as an actor, as a director, as a sound mixer, as a DP, as a second AC, as a DIT, as a stunt person, that takes conversations. That takes doing a great job on set as a production assistant first. And um, that's a great job. I know a lot of people are like, I don't want to do that job. Possibly you might be thinking that. Especially if you're an actor, you're like, I don't know, as I'm a performer. Well, look at it this way. Are you a nice person? Are you a cool person? Do, do you love people? Would you love to learn everything about the film industry? Would you like to get paid to learn everything about the film industry? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, and guess what? You will meet everybody that's gonna hire you as an actor. Everybody that's gonna hire you as a DP. Everybody who's gonna hire you as a director. Everybody. That's how you meet them. How else are they gonna know you're such a cool person? Right? They gotta, they gotta see, they gotta work with you. They're gonna be like, oh, Isaac, thank you for getting my, having my back on that. Oh my God, I can't believe that you remember that, Karen. Thank you so much. Oh, you set that up so fast. They're just gonna, they're, 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 they're just, they're gonna love you because they're gonna be talking to you and you're gonna be joking with them, but you're also gonna be paying attention to what you're doing. And you're gonna be out there just having a great time. You're gonna be learning all the time and you're gonna have your notebook in your back pocket. Okay. You have a notebook in your back pocket and you're gonna watch the DP and you're gonna be like, Wow, I wonder why they positioned the camera there. And now I see a light in the shot. I wonder how that light is not gonna end up in the final product. I wonder about that. Hmm, take a note, take a note. Then, then you see that you might walk past the DP later. You go, hey, I got a question for you. I know you're busy now, but can I grab you later and ask you? And he'll be like, yeah, sure, cool. Yeah, man, sure. You ask him one good question. Then all day long, every time he walks by you or she walks by you, they're gonna go, uh, Hey, Lexico, we just moved the light over here because of this reason. You're gonna be like, oh, thank you so much. Huh, okay, hey, interesting. And you're gonna learn, you're gonna grow. You're not gonna be able to turn it off. These people will become endeared to you. They will love you, you will love them. Film industry is a friendly place, good people. It, once you get into the professional world, those people are nice. They're good people, you know why? Because good people work. Assholes don't work. Yes, you'll find an AD that's yelling ah, blah, 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 on set and sounds intimidating and maybe even yells at people. Come on, art department, get your shit together. They might say that. But that's just stress talking. Plus, that's his job to yell at people. Not really to yell at them, but it's his job to keep things moving on set. So they're taking on a certain kind of personality to get people moving on set. Make sense? So they're not a bad person. They're nothing not to be scared of that person. You just, they're just running the set. Hey, I mean, holy shit. These, these shoots are like $50,000 a day, you guys. That's what they're spending. This whole thing is a business. This is people's careers. I want that guy to yell on set so that we get the freaking day done and I can go home. I want him to yell on set so we get the day done and the production company works again. I want him to yell because I want the director to get his vision shot and us all to be done and us to have lunch and then go home at the end of the day. I love to tell you how it really is out there so that you relax about this. You know, it's like at the end of the day, everybody's got a career. We make our career working on film shoots. We have a good time. We see friends that we've met maybe a year ago, maybe two years ago, maybe 10 years ago, maybe 20 years ago. And we've been working together that long. And now people have moved from production assistant to producer, from production assistant to DP, from production assistant to director, to actors on set. Oh my God, what a lovely, wonderful thing. You don't know, you will know, you will know what it's like to be on set in five years. And you'll be like, oh my God, remember that music video we shot together? It was so cool. And you, that was your first time working the camera and you were so nervous. And oh, I was so nervous. I was like this, I was afraid. And then I got my foot in the shot. And then you told me, do you remember that? It's so many wonderful memories. I mean, the, the experiences and stories you're gonna have 
from this business is going to be through the roof, like interesting, like the film industry will turn you into the person that you want to become. Now that's a big statement. That's crazy. You're good enough now for sure. So was I. However, I wanted to become more because I wanted to meet an amazing man. Oh, bet you didn't think I was going to say that, did you? Nope, bet you didn't. <laughs> right, Asav? Right? Didn't think I was going to say that, did you? Yeah, you did? No. <laughs> yeah, because I was a copier salesperson before I got in the film industry. And I just knew I wanted an interesting life. I had this vision of this life, this vision of the kind of people I wanted to be around. And it wasn't the nine to five people that were like, all they did was watch the news, which we're all addicted to the news these days. But that's all, you know, news, news, news. Nothing more exciting than that. News, news, news. And I wanted, I'm 25 years old. And I'm like, I want to travel the world. I want to make a ton of money. I want to like have wine around the fire with interesting friends and talk about interesting things. I want to meet a man that is like so cool, such a world traveler, so wise. How am I going to meet that person and get all those friends with being a copier salesperson? I'm like, it does not compute. I mean, they're not going to be attracted to me. And um, I was like, okay, I got to become interesting. <laughs> Seems like a ridiculous thing, right? But I'm like, but how, you know, I got to work. I live in Wisconsin. This is my life. I mean, how do I become this interesting person? Do I just start going out hiking or something? So by that time, and I'll tell you my story, I'll show you some pictures, but it really... Um, I decided to quit my job, travel around the world, bought around the world tickets, started traveling, was looking for my man the entire time. And when I found him was in the film industry. I found him when I got, once I got in the film industry. I know amazing things show up when you really go after your dreams, like a mofo, like it's like all your energy totally towards it. Nothing's going to stop you. And you use the life that you want to get away from which was copy your sales. I'm like, I'm not going back to that. Quotas? Are you kidding me? No way. I want this amazing life. And I didn't even know if it was going to be as amazing as the vision in my head, but it really doesn't matter because it's going to be more amazing than the vision that you have in your head. And that vision you have in your head about how you think it's going to be or the dream that you want or winning the Oscar, that is sacred. And that is very important to get you there. Because there's going to be hurdles. There's going to be challenges. Things are not always going to go your way. That's life, of course. One person once said to me, and I was like, holy shit, that's so true. Uh, Janet, the world is full of conflicts. You know, get used to it. It's like, life, life is conflict. I'm like, and I, and I never really thought of it like that before. And I'm like, okay, yeah, it's true. Don't be afraid of conflict. You know, it's just, it's just a life. So, yeah, um, film industry completely freelance, completely word of mouth. You can't get in there through job postings really because the postings are for student films that you find out there. Actors access, backstage, really anything you can find that's posted is pretty much gonna be extremely low budget and not the big professional world where you guys wanna get in the big professional world and make a career. You wanna get paid for what you're doing and work on bigger stuff. Anything professional is going to be paid. That stuff is not posted. So you got to get in this world and that world is all word of mouth because it's not posted. So it's just people going, oh, I know who's good. And they don't need to post it because everybody knows other people that can do those jobs. So I know some of you guys are already dipping your toe in that, in that world. And you have worked as production assistants. You have probably gotten some acting roles out there. And maybe you've directed some stuff. And maybe you worked as a DP and you're doing weddings. You're doing videography stuff. And you're doing, and you're acting. You're doing stuff. Now you want to get into the mother load of the professional film industry. And start making a career out of this where you can make at least 100 grand a year. Is it hard? Is it easy? I don't know. It's just what you got to do. And most people give up before they ever get their um, buns in the film industry. They give up because they're like, oh, it's word of mouth. It's too difficult. It's cutthroat. Blah, 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 blah. Um, when they just need to do certain things to get in and meet the people and learn the business and do good work and help out and do those 12-hour days 
which are good and, and juggled their life. You know, people are like, oh, I can't get the film industry. I'm going to get married next year. I'm like, what? I can't get the film industry. I'm going to get, have a baby. I'm like, huh? People in the film industry have babies all the time. Uh, I can't, I, I'm sick right now. I'm like, okay, well maybe not get in the film industry with COVID right now. Okay, yeah, yeah, all right, makes sense. However, be careful the excuses that you give, you know, for not jumping in 100%. Because I always say, and I even had to tell people today, I say to some people that were like, oh, I can't make it, I already have plans today. I'm like, okay, well, that's fine. Just know that every day you got to be doing something significant to get to your goals. I mean, these big goals, they don't just happen. They got to be pushed at every day, like moving the needle every day. And it's not okay not to get to those goals every day. That's why I have a house like this. I know you haven't seen my house, but it's freaking like 6,000 square feet. It's a mansion. Yes, that's amazing. From the film industry. Holy shit. Yes, you can have this in LA area. This thing's insured for $3 million. It's amazing. Oh, you might've seen some pictures when you just looked at the, or the outside. It's amazing. And um, I am grateful, but I know what it took to get here. I started with nothing. My, my family had nothing. You know, all the I ever made before the film industry was $30,000 a year selling copiers. Uh, since I got in the film industry, I've made a ton of money, not just in the film industry, but in other places and other businesses too, that the film industry taught me how to do. Not in that it said, oh yeah, first you do this and get into finance and then you did. It was the idea that I, if I was going to pave the way and create this life, I needed to do really impactful things every day to get towards my goals. So that's how it helped me with other businesses also make a ton of money while I was in the film industry. Because, and this is a great thing about the film industry, you're working 15 days in a month. 15 days a month is a lot with 12 hour days, guys, right? You know, you're gonna be tired 15 days a month, but that still leaves you 15 days completely free. With that, I can do a lot. And I can do stuff at lunchtime and I can do stuff when I get home also while I'm working those 15 days and then have those other days completely free. When I'm not working, I'm not thinking about anything film related. I'm thinking about the other stuff that I'm doing. So that's really great for film. For film, you can have another business. Now I know that right now your focus is gonna go on getting in the film industry. My purpose in telling you that is that the film industry and what it takes to get in it will serve you for any business that you wanna do. That's pretty awesome. And also any business that you want to do is going to be even more interested in you because you work in the film industry, which most people don't know how to do that. And they're super amazed by the film industry. Like, oh my God, you work with Matt Damon the other week? Oh, wow. And you're like, yeah, I do that all the time. That's pretty cool. Okay. So how are you guys doing? How are you doing? Good? Good. Okay. So let's start off right away um with what you guys are up to so i uh, i find the best way and something that we don't do enough in, um to get to our goals is to actually dig in to what we really want what do you want now you might be like i want to be an actor i want to be a dp i want to win an oscar okay that's one thing and then that goal seems so far away until until you develop it in your head so what we're going to do now is we're going to go on a rant. You're going to go on a rant, a writing rant, and write out what you want. And you're going to be so surprised what's going to come off your paper. Like, you're going to be like, holy shit, I didn't know that I actually wanted to live in Malibu in a house with somebody amazing that's an artist. So I want you to go that much in depth to actually really develop this dream and put it down on paper. Because what you vividly imagine, you're setting up your biochemistry to be able to produce. It's amazing. You can get up in the morning with that vision, read it and just be like, holy shit, new idea just popped into my head. I never had before. I'm going to pursue that. And you get a step closer or maybe even 10 steps closer just because you put yourself in that right, uh, with that thought. And then that jogged another thought, which jogged a new action, which allow you to meet a new person that just introduced you to 10 people that introduced you to one person that introduced you again to 10 more people. 